I've walked down this trail a million times. And I get right here and I look over at this leaf. And there is an adult eyelash viper. First snake of the trip, first morning of the trip, first snake of 2024. I am sure that we're gonna visit with this guy quite a bit uh, before this trip is over, but wow, what a way to start. And here is a blunt head tree snake that has captured an animal, and that's his primary food. Blunt head tree snakes climb from limb to limb at night looking for sleeping animals. They have a mild venom and they bite the lizard. The lizard succumbs to the venom and then the blunt head tree snake eats it. So this is all jungle back that way. This is our trail. This over here is recovering pasture. And I love it because if you check that out, it's another blunt head tree snake over on this side of the forest. And it's another one of the snakes that's taking over in this reforested part of our pasture. So it's later today after we found this guy. He's still on the same leaf, obviously. He's moved around a little bit. And I did try to feed him a cicada to see if he was interested in that. And it flopped around a little bit on top of the snake's head, but the snake wanted nothing to do with it. which I find interesting because as you know, in the States, copperheads will eat cicadas, although they're freshly hatched. Not eyelash vipers, apparently. Where is he now? He's right he's in front of the boat. Like you want me to back up or something? I know, I think we're gonna drift. Up in that corner, we have a link to a video about these yellow sea snakes. Be sure to check it out. But you can see they're so peaceful. Just a little for Lance. Just a baby. Beautiful for Lance. Pretty small, he's only about, I don't know, foot and a half long. This is the only one that I had seen until later that night. So, I'm trying to get up this hill right here. And I'm walking up, and look at that. Big old giant fertile ants, both drops asper, tercia palo probably at least two meters long. As much as an adult of one as you'll ever see. Ooh, startled me, I had to take a step back. It's a thick snake, it's a long snake. It's the biggest one I've seen on the trip and I didn't see any of them until this morning. And I think it's because we've had a little bit of cold weather. Cold weather, that's relative of course. Cooler weather, I may try to get a little closer, I don't know. This is, they get pretty jumpy and nervous. So we'll see. You know, I am not gonna go past this snake. I guess I could pass it over there, but this would seriously do some damage to me. Probably get well above my knee into my calf. What a beauty though, man. See this very, very distinct A patterns. That stripe in the eye, even the pit between the eye and the nostril. Wow, what a specimen that snake is. Check out the eye shine from this big tercio palo. See, they tend to come downhill when they come. So we are not going to disturb it and head on. Probably see another one with this cooler weather. Wow. All right, I think it's a Halloween snake. Here's the tail. Normally coral snakes 
don't look like this. Look at that beauty though. Look at that beauty. I, I don't know man, we've only found, found like three of these on this property. This is the most calm one I've seen. And I don't know. Wait, see that beautiful skin. Hopefully, look at that white belly. See, a coral snake would have bands all the way around it. And we're just gonna let it go. It's not a lifer, but we've only seen two or three of them. It's had enough of me. <laughs> well, finally another snake species. This looks like a bird snake. Can't think of anything else that it might be. No way to really get a good ID on it because it's 40 feet up above the ground. We were looking at this branch right here originally where we've seen the eyelash viper. But it's definitely a snake. Check out this guy. Brown basilisk or common basilisk. This is a male. We're not gonna disturb it because it's sleeping. Well, night number three and the bird snake has returned. It was gone this afternoon when I came by. It's very tough to see, but he's right there. Last night he was in a different area but it's interesting to see that these snakes are using these same trees as a nighttime roost of course there's a little bird right there and i'm sure that, that bird eating snake would love to have it well you can hear it's coming maybe you can see it a little bit february rainstorm at eight o'clock at night yikes all right, we had a sleeping snake. It seems to be awake now. You can tell because his eyes are open. See it there? Eyes are wide open. And I hate that we woke him up. Uh, but a cicada hit him. And there are a lot of cicadas around. This is a barred forest racer. They are diurnal, but they coil up and sleep at night unless you come by with a bright light. Anyway, we are not going to disturb it and try to sneak around it. And just so you know, this is what these snakes look like underneath. They usually have white or light colored bellies. All right, my friend. Good night. Well, check out this guy. I believe it's a juvenile salmon belly racer. Although that name is certainly suspect because of all the changes recently. Anyway, he's sleeping. We won't mess with it. Check out this cool wood-colored salamander. They're not common many places in Costa Rica, but we saw at least one other one on our trip. That, of course, is our baby blunthead tree snake. It's probably about a year old, I would guess. Well, we just walked up on a, another baby blunthead tree snake. This is the perfect food for a coral snake. Blunt head tree snake. There's really no reason to harass it. Plus, it's out of reach. Dang. Another blunt head tree snake. This one is at head level, almost stepped right into it. <laughs> Got the tin of disappointment. Looks like a coral snake, doesn't it? Actually. It's a rubber coral snake with the head missing. So what happened to it? Let's take a look.
So clearly I'm not in Costa Rica anymore. I'm back in South Carolina. A couple of things I wanted to make you aware of. The eyelash viper had a name change. It broke into five different species from uh, Botrychisis schlegeli uh, into Botrychisis nigro adspersus, which means sprinkled with black, kind of like sprinkled with black pepper. That's a good way to remember it. Anyway, we've already found some rattlesnakes in South Carolina and in South Florida this year. So be on the lookout for those videos and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing these snakes of Costa Rica.